Bum, 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 bum. Josh Robert Thompson, live stream, autograph signing. It's a mouthful. The folks at Streamily. Streamily.com? Is it .com? Yes. Streamily.com, not .org. Get yourself a print of this jackass, Josh Robert Thomas. It's Thompson. It's Thompson. One day we'll get that right. Hey, everybody. It is me, Josh Robert Thompson, sitting with my good friend, Jeff Peterson. Say hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. That's an old, that's an old joke we do. And also, uh, hey, everybody. Also, uh, uh, in the shadows, we've got Campbell. Say okay. hi. I can appear on screen. There he is. Yeah, I'm not. I'm in there you go. All right, go Hello. back. Go back behind the wall. <laughs> how how is it back there behind the wall, huh? Hot. Feels good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like Jeff. Yep. That was my life for eight years. Just stay behind the wall, boy. That's not true. Today is uh, autograph signing day, as promised. So uh, big thanks to all five of you for joining us. Uh, hopefully everything is working. Uh, we're we're going to you live right now. We're going to you live. We're going to you live right now, where a situation is developing on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Josh Robert Thomas, Josh Rubber Ducky, is signing autographs that people paid for. Um, hey, by the way. I want to say a big thanks to everybody that picked up a print over at streamily.com. Um, really, I'm really blown away. I thought we were going to sell like four or five prints, but uh, it turns out we sold six. Yeah. So pr pretty good. Almost 10. Almost 10? <laughs> wow. Still got it. Um, don't forget, a portion of the proceeds will go to the Starlight Children's Foundation. It's a wonderful organization. Uh, that does uh, great work for kids, and uh, take a little look here at uh, some of the stuff that they do. Uh, Starlight Children's Foundation. Oh, there's a pop-up. We got a pop-up. We got a technical problem already. We got a pop-up. Uh, Starlight Children's Foundation. Here we go. They make uh, hospital gowns. That's one of the things they do. Cool hospital gowns for kids. You know, it's very scary when you're in the hospital. Uh, scary for me. I had a double hernia surgery a couple years ago. You ever have a hernia surgery? No, it's something I desperately... That's why I don't go to the gym. I'm afraid of them. Yeah. Yeah, don't lift any weight. That was my excuse, too. But somehow <laughs> I still got a double hernia. I got two of them. Um, where do you get a hernia, Jeff? In your pants. All right. Still got it. Still got it. Uh, anyway, sorry, kids. Let's get back to the serious part. Yeah, Texas, uh, Brazil coming in right Texas now. and Brazil? Yeah. Uh, that's hi Texas, hi Brazil. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I don't yeah. know how to do this. Shout hey, hey Texas, and I got to say hello to every single person that comes in the room. Yes. And I have to read every comment. Yeah. Wow. Whose show is this? Um, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, hospital gowns, uh, with different designs. You know, maybe their favorite cartoon character. I would have loved to have had a hospital gown with, uh, you know, maybe Jeff Peterson on the gown. Have Jeff Peterson on my gown. I'd like to be on your gown. Doesn't even make any sense. Anyway, uh, Starlight Children's Foundation, uh, you are helping a great cause, so I really appreciate that. And uh, also, by the way, I am enjoying uh, a glass of wine, so feel free during the broadcast to uh, get liquored up. By the end of the show, uh, I expect to be fully in my cups and uh, divulging a lot of behind-the-scenes information. Oh, before we start signing, speaking of behind-the-scenes information, um, a little bit later, I will be showing you, uh, never before seen, maybe one time, um, the documentary, the uh, Jeff Peterson documentary that my friend Kamel Alloway, the director of my TV pilot slash comedy special, uh, he was, uh, the last week of The Late Late Show, he followed me around, and uh, we're going to take a look at that for those of you diehard Late Late Show fans. Now, can people still buy prints, by the way? Yes. So They uh, can. I'm adjusting the uh, quantities right now. But, okay. Um, the, uh, they are limited today, guys, so uh, put your orders in now. Yeah, uh, so, so don't be a jerk. And uh, <laughs> that's how, that's how you got to talk to these people. you got to rough them up. Here's the store, by the way. There's some of the gorgeous prints that are are available. Yes, these these are available. Yes. Uh, great photo of me and Craig and Jeff hanging out in front of the fireplace. Uh, careful Icarus. And uh, what else? We've got uh, the... Oh, that's a great one. That's the Jeff Peterson, um, sort of an Andy Warhol-esque type of uh, design. 
also good. It is Pride Month, and we do have a lot of folks buying that uh, for Pride Month. I I didn't even realize uh, how perfect that was. And as Jeff Peterson is gay, so, sometimes we did establish that he was gay, um, but I would often hit on the uh, female guests through Jeff. It was uh, kind of a great gig. So uh, speaking of that, um, this original artwork was designed by my lovely girlfriend, Nalani Williams, who is an incredible artist and filmmaker and animator. And uh, I, I recommend you check out her work. So there is, uh, there's her work there. So all the, all the original art that you see was uh, done by Nalani. And then we also have uh, a lot of stuff from the TV pilot, George Lucas, uh, Apostle BG, and uh, all kinds of other stuff. So there you go. That's uh, streamily.com, folks. Get yours. Get yours while they're hot. All right. Um, well, I guess we should start signing. Yeah. I've never done this before. I haven't signed anything since uh, 1984. So pretty excited about it. All righty. This uh, first one, I believe. Danielle, I saw you in the comments. Uh, this is Danielle from Indiana, I believe. Danielle from Indiana. Hi, Danielle from Indiana. Um, this is a lovely picture. Oh, look right? at that. Uh, she left some instructions. She said, could you please sign on the left side of the photo? I'm a huge fan and love your work, so if you'd be willing to sign it with love, it'd mean a lot. Sign on the left side of the photo. All right, which, sh I guess I should use the silver one for this. That'd probably pop out the most. Okay. We have spares, don't worry. All right. It's an exciting show for all of you at home. Uh, I, Josh Robert Thompson is about to uh, do the first signing. I'm going about to put marker to paper. Uh, hopefully I don't screw this up. Also, a shout out to the people who would in leave me instructions like, make sure you leave the other side blank for Craig. Okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> Josh, make sure that you don't draw on my side because I got a lot that I want to write, man. So don't fuck it up. That's what Craig used to say uh, before every show. No, the producer of The Late Late Show, uh, Michael Natus, uh, the, the guy that we used to call a racist, not a racist, he wasn't a racist, but um, he would come up to me just like seconds before the show and he would say, Josh, uh, Craig is in a very bad mood. The audience has been waiting outside in the baking hot sun for four hours. Everybody's very pissed off. We're counting on you. Have a great show. That was every single show. And then before I would do stand-up with Craig, just before I would go out and open for Craig and also do stand-up, thank you, Craig would say, don't fuck it up, man. So, there you go. Does she want me to write, don't fuck it up, man, on here? Uh, let's see. Danielle, do you want him to write, uh, don't fuck it up, on there? <laughs> she didn't say to write anything specific, did she? Uh, just with love. With love. Yeah. Well, of course. Uh, in two L's with uh, Danielle? Uh, yes. All right. I'll just put, uh, I'll put, uh, oh, man, the pressure's on. Hey. Hey, Danielle. <laughs> don't screw it up uh could I, I could put like in your pants no that's that's uh <laughs> hey danielle in your pants look at what he wrote to me look at what he wrote uh george lucas for a second hey danielle hey no that's a little more hype yeah you're right you're right <laughs> that's george lucas with his balls and a vice what is wrong with you jar jar was amazing all right, sorry guys, I apologize. I'll speed this along, okay? Uh, hey Danielle, <laughs> in your, <laughs> I'm doing it, in your pants, right? It's terrible. Uh, with love, with love, in your pants with love, and then I'm gonna sign it. I don't really know what my signature looks like. Ooh, that's nice. Wow, look at that, huh? Danielle says she's good with in your pants. She's Danielle. she I bet she is. I bet you are, Danielle. Danielle says she's good with in your pants. All right, there you go, folks. Sorry, trying to there you go. There it is. Everything's reversed. All right. So then I hand that to you. Yes, sir. Don't fuck it up. Um, wow. <laughs> well, we got fifty more to go? Uh somewhere around like it's gonna be a long hours, show. Maybe. Would you speed it up, please, Josh? Would you please speed it up? Morgan Freeman here to add some class to the proceedings. This is a bunch of bullshit. You should have worked on your, your handwriting before you started. 
Well, I thought I was doing a pretty good job, Morgan Freeman. Oh, wait, you're over this way. I thought I was doing a... Sorry, I was trying to pay attention to which way Morgan Freeman... I thought I was doing a good job, Morgan Freeman. Well, you thought wrong, boy. You see, I got Morgan Freeman up there. You thought wrong, boy. I'm looking directly... You know, I'm looking at you. And I'm looking at you. And I'm looking at you. Kiss my ass. Okay. Uh, Ray, by the way, it is not too late to buy a print. Uh, the store is still open. That's uh, right. The store is still open. JR also wants to uh, thinks those hands are fake and stunt double hands. Y you may be right. You may be right. Oh, I should That's actually AI. These are AI hands. We've 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 uh, pre-programmed it. I actually signed all of these weeks ago. I'm not doing this live. All right, what do we got? What's the next one? Here? Uh, this next Very one exciting. Will Heatley. Will Heatley. Personalized Ooh. message to Will. Keep on laughing. Best wishes, Josh. Jeez. Come on, Will. It's a lot. All right. Uh, look at that. Ah, look at that shot, huh? What a shot. Ooh, okay. Um, to Will. Keep on laughing. Thanks. Best wishes, Jeff. No, it's best wishes, Josh. Okay. Oh, kiss my ass. All right. So, guys, if you want to type it in, I'll work on uh, pinning this in the comments. Yeah, we'll work on pinning it in the comments. Um, but right now, it's going to be Streamly.com uh, forward slash Josh Robert Thompson. Uh, Streamly.com forward slash Josh Robert Thompson. Could my name be any longer? Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, yeah, why don't you just put JRT? What's the matter with you? This show is out of control. This show is... Someone, someone says they're looking for the little tip doohickey. You know, folks, I appreciate that. I've just sort of set all this stuff up. I mean, my crew, my crew of thousands set all this up. So far, so good. Um, but we do need to set up the whole tip jar thing. Can make some real coin. It's just bullshitting. So this was two, it's two will. Two will, keep on laughing, best wishes. Okay, two will. I'm going to put it right in the middle like an a-hole. Keep on. Oh, man. I feel so nervous that people are. The there it is. <laughs> Keep on laughing. Best wishes. Josh. Of course. I forgot my name. Thanks, buddy. The clan of Jeff set it up. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful, huh? Huh, folks? Look at that. That's a real. That's, that's going to be worth five bucks. It ain't going to be worth shit. Will you stop it, Morgan Freeman? Morgan Freeman uh, joining us here on the program. Uh, don't forget, once again, this is for a good cause, Starlight Children's Foundation. Uh, I've worked with them in the past, and, you know, they're doing fantastic work over there. They're wonderful, wonderful people. So, And so are all of you. Thank you so much for supporting this and uh, making me feel, uh, what's the word? Relevant? No, you know what? Okay, it's a time out for Morgan. Time for me to have a drink. Uh, let's look at some comments here. Uh, JRT, you want me to sign it JRT? Uh, in the middle, like an a-hole. So I'm reading people's comments out loud. In the middle, like an a-hole. Hey, Josh, you working on any new impressions you haven't gotten to show yet? Um, not particularly. All right, what do, what's up next? I'm excited. Um, Jeff Goldblum, I've been doing Jeff Goldblum for a little while. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, look at this. Yes. Well, well, this is nice because, oh, we got to do the hands because, look. Oh, it's pink. It's pink. Oh, because uh, uh, it's sort of, uh, sort of a, a retro. Yes. Oh, retro design. Very nice. Very nice. This is awesome. This is the, um, look at that, Jeff. Perfect likeness of you, pal. Um, this is kind of that 80s sort of retro design, which I really dig. Now, who is this for? This is awesome. This is, uh, to Cam, come visit my place in New Hampshire, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> to Cam, come visit my place in New Hampshire. All right. Uh, let's see. I should put it up here. Yeah. C-A-M. C-A-M? Yes. Not C-A-N? C-A-M. They're not named after an inanimate object? All right. To, my name is Can. I'm Bottle. How are you? We're going to be best friends. That's the dumbest joke you've ever told. Just sign the shit and get off the air. All right. I'm sorry. All right. To Cam. <laughs> Having lots of fun. Uh, what, what was the rest of it? Come visit my 
place in New Hampshire. Of course, of course it was. <laughs> uh, just making sure you knew. Come visit my place. Uh, oh, I'm going to put in right there. New. Oh, I really screwed this one up. Hamp. Is he going to make it? I made it. Yes. Uh, and then just uh, love you so much. Best wishes to your family. Uh, no instructions. I think it's good after that. Oh, I'll just sign my name. All right. Uh, Let me make sure um, if the link is in your bio. Got it. I don't know where to go. There it is. Oh, it's in your link tree, isn't it? Yeah, it's in my link tree. Folks, if you want to if you want to figure out where to go, if you want to navigate all my nonsense, if you ever thought to yourself, gee, I wonder what Josh Robert Thompson's up to these days. You know, we've all wondered that. I assumed you died about five years ago. Well, if you thought I died, which it seems a lot of people have thought that and commented that in the past on Facebook. Are you dead? Are you homeless? Did you give up? Uh, none of those are true. You can simply go to my link tree, which is, I think, on, on every one of my websites. Instagram especially. Instagram especially. That's what he just said. That's what Campbell just said. Go to J JRT Show is my Instagram. Nobody gives a flying shit. All right. Thanks, Morgan. And here is, uh, that's for my buddy Cam. Or Can. It was me the whole time. That was for you? Yeah. These are all for you? Yeah. Oh, man. Got to find out the hard way. Um, I spent over $500. Oh, we're already getting wow. prints in. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. Um, do we have like a, can we go to the board? Where are we at now? Like Jerry Lewis used to do. I wish we had. Let's go to the numbers. <laughs> Let's go to the numbers. There's nothing. We don't have anything. Is number 28 for Alan. Uh, no instructions. Alan. So I think you just free ball it. So I can just, so I'm going to write on Craig's side and my side. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, don't you dare, man. I saw what you did, man. I was watching that live and you, and you, and you wrote on both sides, man. Uh, Ray wants to know when you're getting an OnlyFans for Jeff. An only, oh, Jeff, yeah. Jeff, do you have an OnlyFans? Uh, in your pants. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, maybe for an extra charge, uh, you can watch me bone. All right, that's great, Jeff. That's really good stuff. Um, all right, so this is... Uh, we got Ireland in the house. Ireland in the house? Yeah. Oh, wow. Welcome, Ireland. We're, we're worldwide. This yeah. is worldwide. Who's this for, Jimmy? Uh, uh, Alan. <laughs> Alan. All right. Uh, okay. Hey, Alan. Oh, A-L-A-N? A yes. Just want to make sure. Some people. Oh, we got our first balls. In the Oops, numbers. I'm going to put balls right now. Balls. People are going to people are going to put these on their. They're going to mount these on their walls, and then guests are going to come over, and they're going to go. Now, who is that? I recognize the other two, the robot and Craig. Oh, let me do. Let me do one more thing. Cool. This is what we used to do. Jeff, we'll have Jeff sign it as well. Except he does it with uh, <laughs> he does it with zeros and ones. We got Finland. Here we go. Zero one 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 zero zero one zero zero one one. There we go. That's uh, Farad wants to know if we can uh, get an awkward pause. Uh, Farad, well, you know, I guess we could do an awkward pause. Yeah, I didn't. I I would that be all right, Jeff? Yeah, sure, I'd love it. All right, let's do a quick uh, awkward pause. I didn't come up with it. Uh, as we know, Craig Ferguson, the originator of the awkward pause, so don't sue me. All right, here we go, everybody. We're going to do an awkward pause together. So you blink, dumbass. Okay, all right, that's it. That was it. That was the awkward pause. Thanks, everybody. Um, you know what? I just want to show everybody something real quick uh, before we get to the next signature. Uh, a little a little highlight reel of some of the Late Late Show stuff uh, because there's probably people watching right now going, I don't know who this guy is and I don't know why I should care. And I understand. I'm with you. Uh, but this is sort of a little overview of not just uh, Jeff Peterson, but the other characters that I played on the Late Late Show. Little known fact, I started on The Late Late Show in February of 2007, and I was doing uh, characters like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Craig, how are you? 
It's fantastic to be here. I'd started out doing Schwarzenegger on the Howard Stern show. Um, and then they would put me in a muscle suit and do this like two hour makeup job to make me look like Arnold. And um, then I played De Niro. Craig, how you doing? Good to see you. And a number of other characters and a voice of Morgan Freeman. So this is a, a little look at uh, some of the stuff that I did on the show. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Josh Robert Thompson from Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. What do you do? What do you do for a living, Josh? I am the voice of Jeff Peterson. The voice of Jeff. <laughs> Did you talk to him yet? No, I don't talk to dummies. <laughs> How are hey, you, Don? Hey. <laughs> hey, look, I'm a big fan of your earlier work. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Josh Robert Thompson from Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. What do you do? What do you do for a living, Josh? Pandemonium. We had our first technical difficulty. I'm so Just sorry, doing, everybody. Stop that. So sorry, everybody. We had our first technical difficulty. People are people are running wild in the streets. I apologize. I think I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You also oh do the God. voice of everyone on the phone, don't yes, you? Yes, all of the phone calls. Hello. Hello, this is Serge. Oh, hello, Serge from Philadelphia that makes cheese sticks. Yes, how are you? I heard you talking about our place. You have the best cheese sticks. Uh, Sandra the Rhino. There's your problem. You get all the credit. I sit here doing nothing all day. Kiss my ass. And the, and the band, the uh, the Shy Fellas band. Oh, yeah, that's you as well, yeah. yeah. Are they there right now? Oh, okay, hey, look at look at this, look at that, huh? <laughs> we spent 40 bucks on that. I'm in moment with Kraftwerk, with Florian and Ralph. Florian, let us play music. I cannot. I'm no longer interested in music. What? Whatever will you do instead? I have a new hobby, scrapbooking. <laughs> You do realize that in order to scrapbook, you must go out and do things and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Let us play music. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the joke was... Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, it hurts. I mean, don't tell my sister. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you, muscles? Yeah, well, well, the money that I will raise goes to one of the most poorest, desperate, and neediest places in the earth, California. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, huh? yeah. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> All right. Yeah, laugh it up, yeah, laugh it up. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I gave you a task, and you failed miserably. Well, listen, it's not my fault, you know. It's the other celebrities on the team. I mean, I kept tripping over that stupid Tom Cruise, right? <laughs> I could not see him, he's so tiny. Yes, he's very really small. He's exactly. He's very really tiny. He's like that. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, oh, 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 oh. There he goes. Right. Okay. Right. I get, I get, yeah, I get, I get what tiny is. Right. 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 Thanks for having me here, Craig. <laughs> Woo! Spring break! Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, calm down, Chad. Yeah. Now I see you got the uh, you got the fraternity uh, sweater on there. Oh yeah, yeah. All the all the bros wear these. It's yeah. our uh, triangle uh, fork shirt thing. <laughs> I, I have no idea what it means. Well, it, it spells out the name of your fraternity, then. <laughs> Whatever, bro. All right. <laughs> all right. Now listen, listen. There's a serial killer on the loose, and I think I've got an idea who it might be. Hoo ha! <laughs> um, who? Well, the evidence points to the killer being a cop. Is that why you arranged this little rendezvous, huh? What are you doing? I'm just talking to you, huh? What's the matter with you, huh? Speak like a normal person. I smell a woman, hoo ha! All right, now, now you're just regurgitating catchphrases from your stupid movies. That pisses me off a little bit. Show me the money! Hoo-ha! <laughs> but that's not even one of your movies, you idiot. So, this cast of thousands we've had in the show for a number of years, it's basically down to one underpaid actor? Is that what we're saying? <laughs> yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, gracing us with his presence during today's autograph signing, 
creator of the Star Wars saga, Mr. George Lucas. Hey, everybody. Hi, it's uh, George Lucas. Uh, uh, really happy to be here. As you could, as you could see, I'm very, I'm overjoyed with excitement. Uh, Josh asked me to uh, come on and sign a few things. I guess uh, some of you guys, oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I'm just so tired. Anyway, he asked me to sign some stuff. I don't know what this is, so uh, I appreciate it. And uh, this uh, actually, this this one I like a lot because it's uh, it's me and Jar Jar. This is uh, during happier times. <laughs> That's a beautiful photo of uh, me and my little buddy Jar Jar. You like Jar Jar Binks? Uh, yeah. Say you do. I, he's, Say he's, you do. He's uh. He's okay. Something. All right, we're going to have him escorted out of the building. can't believe what Disney's done to my saga. I'm thinking about buying it back. I probably should. Did you guys watch season three of Mandalorian? Holy crap. All right, well, let's sign this one. Now, who's this one for? This uh, is nice. Thanks for stopping by, George. This is uh, for Art and Danny. Uh, no instructions. Our, uh, Art and Danny. Is Danny with two N's, or is that with an I? Or... N, N, it's D-A-N-I. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's a good name for a creature. That'd actually be a good creature name. Danny. Or a robot. Actually, it would be... Actually, I'd love to have Jeff uh, be in one of the Star Wars pictures as a, uh, you know, as a droid or something. So, George, were you the be one great. that created Yaddle? Or was that someone else? Or... Yeah, Yaddle. Yaddle's like the female uh, Yoda frog, whatever the hell it is. Who cares? Yeah, I just... I Because, you know, listen, I, I'm... I'm all about uh, inclusivity. I mean, I made Willow. The whole movie's just got little people. So you want know, to talk about... My wife is an uh, African-American woman, you know? So don't come at me with that. So yeah, I said, we need a female Yoda in here. And they said, well, I said, oh, who's paying the bucks? Who's paying Who's paying the bills here? Daddy is. So does that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh... Jackass. All right, here we go. Danny. <laughs> George, my God, please. Uh, cut back to Josh. Go ahead, show Josh. No, no, don't show me. No, let's see you. Josh, where are you? Are you in the other room? <laughs> it's weird. I seem to be wearing the exact same thing that Josh was wearing. You couldn't afford a costume change? All right, who is this to? Buck Thorpe and Ginny? Who's this for? Uh, Art and Danny. Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Distraction, so go, go nuts, George. I got it. Well, I already have, believe me, but, but six years ago. Uh, hey... Oh, uh, this, okay, hey, Art, right, Art and Danny with, with one N and one I, right, okay, hey, Art and Danny. Um, George, uh, Haran uh, says stop making Indiana Jones movies. <laughs> I didn't have anything to do with the last one. Hold on, I'm trying to focus before I misspelled this. Who was that? Han Solo? Who said that? Haram? Uh, Haran. Haran. I thought you said Haram. That was the mystical city that, uh, if you guys ever saw the new mummy with Tom Cruise, I love that picture. What a great picture. Uh, they went to the mystical city of Haram. And my favorite part in that movie is when uh, Tom Cruise, you know, uncovers the city and then they get a close up of his face and Tom says, Haram. It's great. I love it. What a great movie. Uh, where was I? May the Force. B, I forgot how to write this shit with you. Oh, can we swear during this? Oop, uh, oops. No, but uh, we'll get shut down later. Um, uh, force me with you. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. I'm going to sign it Josh's name. Uh, P.S. <laughs> jar, jar, rules. <laughs> George, come on. Well, it's true. Hey, Art and Danny, may the force be with you. Thanks, guys. There you go. Get that out of my face. All right. Uh, okay, the next one is uh, this one. Oh, this is a great one. Wow, look at this one. This is me in a vineyard. Uh, this is from the uh, this is from the Josh Robert Thompson uh, show. Uh, this is the uh, the pilot. It was a wonderful, wonderful show. And this is at my estate, my palatial estate. Now, this is for uh, who's this for? Oh, Farad, right, okay. Uh, Farad wants uh, maybe a small George blurb along with it, like Greedo shot first, or the pool is as deep as you want it. Oh, I like that one. Uh, so much that's cool. All right, I'll put that, well, let's see, which, uh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll put it down here. I don't want to screw up the, 
Should I put it at the top or the bottom? I don't want to screw it up. What do you guys think? Should I? Should I? I want, what do you guys think? Where should Josh Robert Thompson sign this next print? Should it be at the top where the sky is or over on the side where the ground is? It's up to you, the audience, to decide. Let's take a vote and lock it in. Any second now, quickly. Someone says, on his gut, put it in the sky. <laughs> Jeff, you ever put it in the sky? <laughs> Jeff, you ever put it in the sky? Yeah, which guy? All right. Thank you very much. Um, I'll go for the sky. Oh, yeah. We should probably ask the guy that wants it. We should probably ask for Rod. He says he wants the sky. Okay. I'll go for the sky. That's what he said. All right. See, the sky, because it... Okay. Uh, here we go. Let's uh, put it here. Uh, here we go. It's F-A-R-D, right? Yes. That's right, yeah. F A A. Uh, always, <laughs> always remember Greedo shot first. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Just sign right there. I don't know if they want they want me to sign it or I'll just sign it as Josh. So there you go. Hey Farad, always I mean, hey Farad, always remember Greedo shot first. There you go. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. Oh, we got another one. Uh, yeah. Wow. A, this one doesn't have a name. Um, wow. It says, please sign George Lucas, aka the creator, aka Josh Robert Thompson. Okay. I mean, I mean, okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. Guess you screwed up, huh, dummy? No, I didn't. I didn't screw up. I was doing an impression of Josh Robert Thompson. Well, it sounded like shit. Okay, well, I'm working on it. Hey, you guys want to hear my Josh Robert Thompson impression? Hi, I'm Josh Robert Thompson. I was Jeff the Robot. Love me. <laughs> That's some good shit. That's some good shit, George. Oh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. All right, uh, Campbell. Anybody ever... Your name's Campbell, so does anybody ever... You probably get a lot of mm, -mm good jokes. Um, like during lovemaking, does anyone ever ask you to say mm, -mm good? <laughs> uh, it's usually something along the lines of like, you like put that soup in me or something like put that. Put that soup in me? Yeah. Oh, wow. Campbell soup, mm, mm good. I like mm, mm good. Yeah, I like mm, mm good too. I prefer it... <laughs> Go ahead, Jeff, say it. I prefer it chunky style. Wow. All right, what what's this one again? Uh, to the love the creator. Uh, so this is from George Lucas, aka the creator. Okay. AKA Josh Robert Thompson. Got it from George. It's me. Lucas, aka the creator. Oh, uh, aka. Josh, Robert, oh, your name is really long. Thomas, Thompson, Thompson. Oh, jeez, that one, that one took the wind out of me. That's really long. Can you guys, wow, we got a lot of George Lucases. This is amazing. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, you know, I've been working on some smaller films. I don't know if you guys know this. I've been, I've been working on some... Uh, very small films. In fact, they're so small that the the entire crew is uh, microscopic. I mean, they're no bigger than the, the tip, tip of your pinky. And uh, like I said, inclusivity, right? So these are very short people, about the size of, of an eraser. Uh, these films are so small that I have not even seen them yet. You know, they have little tiny monitors and little cameras. Well, you're going to appreciate this. The other day I was, you know, I got hungry. It was the middle of the night. I'm sleeping on them. You know, I'm I have a bed made out of four billion dollars. I just sit there and go, <laughs> I just laugh all day. I'm sleeping nude, you know, just kind of rubbing my ample belly, just going, ah, <laughs> jar jar, whatever. I get hungry. I got the munchies. So I go down to the kitchen. I forgot the whole crew was camped out right there by the stove. I, I stepped on them. I killed everybody. I killed the whole crew. They got their own little mini workers, uh, comp people and so I think a few of them survived. So we're going we're gonna to try to finish those movies. But the thing is, I'm not even going to be able to see them. So I don't know who's going to be able to see them. They're very small movies. 
They're very small movies. Oh, this is beautiful. Here's another Jar Jar Binks. Uh, this is for Eric. It says, uh, Eric. I, for some reason, he's talking to Josh. So oh. I guess you're saying on his behalf. Oh, says, correct. Josh, I loved your interview on the Letterman podcast. Oh, yeah. I love your work. Please sign it any way you want. Thanks for being so engaged with your fans. Oh, that's so nice. That says Eric uh, is a good guy, Eric. He knows he knows the classics. A e r i c is it Eric with a uh, e r i c. Okay, great. All right. Uh, uh, hey, hey, Eric. I just like saying hey, hey, Eric. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Can I write hey, Eric? You son, of, you son of a bitch. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I saw your, I saw your. T- is it cool if he calls you a son of a bitch? Yeah, Eric. Yeah, I, I saw your ticket stubs. I saw that you bought those ticket stubs to the new Star Wars movies, you son of a... I saw your Disney Plus subscription, you jackass. I'm going to hunt you down like the dog you are. I'm not going to do that. Hey, Eric. Uh, Misa. I want to say something. I want to say something. No, I'm going to put... Uh, uh, hey, Eric. Uh, what's... What, what's uh, let's see. Hey, Eric. Uh, let's see. Misa. Misa. Misa, very happy. Hey, Eric, Misa, so happy to see in you, sir. That's perfect timing. Someone just asked for a Jar Jar impression. You know, it's fine. I saw it at the same time where it was like, it's like psychic. And then I just sort of switched gears. Misa, happy. Misa, happy to sign this. No, we got to make it good. I think I'll just do, you know, may, may the, uh, uh, I, I think I want to put uh, Disney sucks. There you go. That's good. <laughs> hey, Eric. Great for our brand. Disney sucks. No, oh, or I mean, oh, are you guys owned by Disney? Uh, Who no. isn't? Who isn't? Right? <laughs> Who isn't? Uh, well, we'll just keep it simple. Oh, there's Eric. Whatever you want, George. Mad respect. Okay. Hey, Eric. Uh, I'll just keep it simple. I like may the force be with you. Because that's nice. That's a nice. Uh, that's a nice thing to say. Uh, in the Star Wars universe. You know, we. Uh, uh, let me sign that there. And then uh, P.S. Jar Jar is the key. <laughs> Jar Jar, uh, Jar Jar is the key to all of this. Is the key to all of this. That's a real mouthful. All right, there you go. There you go, Eric. You know, it's interesting. Uh, Disney had a pro. Oh, am I done? Are you there more, more, George? No, you got more. Well, I'll tell you, let me see that there. Uh, uh, Disney had approached me to, you know, do do the new uh, Star Wars pictures. And, uh, you know, I, I had some ideas for stories and they weren't going to go with it. One of the stories that I wanted to do was uh, where, uh, and I've talked about this before, it was kind of like Inner Space. If you've ever seen that movie, Inner Space, with uh, Dennis Quaid and uh, Martin Short, it's a great picture. And in this Star Wars film. It was in the microcosm, sort of the microscopic universe of the, uh, the many chlorians. And the idea was that one Jedi, like a Sith, would accidentally get injected into the butt cheek of a, a Jedi. And so, hear, hear me out on this. So, and so, the Jedi, using the Force, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing because it's such a great idea, yeah. had to... Uh, had to sort of help guide the Sith through his body to expel him. and uh, But in order to expel him, he realizes he can't use the Force. He has to eat, you know, he has to drink, you know, water in Mexico or something. So he has like a Montezuma's Revenge kind of thing and just boom. So that was a trilogy. I thought that was going to be a great trilogy. And for some reason they said no. It didn't take off. It's total bullshit. So I said kiss my ass and, you know, I never talked to them again. All right. Now who is this for? Uh, this is for Brendan. Uh, something about Greedo, LOL. Love your work, man. Keep it up for all of us. Brendan, something about Greedo. Now, is he? Does he want me to sign it up, up at the top? I thought I saw somebody say they wanted me to. Um, I think top is probably the best. Heather says sign the bottom. Who's Heather? Is she coming up? She's making demands. Let me find Heather. You just wait your turn, Heather. You just wait your turn, okay? Uh, I think this is the last George. Okay, I don't know who this Heather is. I will sign it wherever I want. By the way, uh, I will be signing uh, racks if you... No, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I don't know what is wrong with him. It's I, it's unbelievable. Okay, this is for Ted. Who's this for? Brandon. <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> right, B-R-A, B-Brandon, D-O-N. Uh, B-R-E-N-D-A-N. 
Oh, oh, Brendan. Yeah. Oh, geez. Must be your, your Van Nuys accent. Yeah. Uh, That's where it's from. Yeah. Uh, to, to, I'll say to Brendan, B-R-E-N-D-A-N, right? To Brendan, my biggest, oh, sorry, my biggest fan. This is what it normally looks like on Streamly. You just watch this. This is the shot you get. Uh, and you just sit there for a while going, well, there must be something else to look at. Don't forget, guys, this is all for a good cause. Well, some of it, this this asshole's pocketing some of the money. Can you believe that? These poor, sick children, and Josh is going to take nightgowns from them. What else they got? VR goggles. Sick, sick son of a bitch. Anyway, uh, a portion of the proceeds is going to go to the Starlight Children's Foundation. There were people that actually got upset. There were mostly, you know, older women who wear moomoos. Uh, they get very upset at Josh for daring to make any money from any of this. It's it's wild. So that he's got, Josh has actually gotten messages from people making sure, <laughs> oh man, making sure that he's, you know, got everything in order legally. Never seen a single Star Wars movie. Who the hell are you? Yeah, there it is. Uh, kiss my ass. Who said that? Uh, Keetle Beetle. Beetle. Yeah, screw you, Keetle Beetle. That's a great name for an alien though. Keetle? Yeah, Keetle. Keetle. Uh, anyway, Starlight Children's Foundation is a great cause. Okay, this is to Brendan, my biggest. Contribute today to offset the orphanages Josh burned down. Wow. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guy. Yeah, that's a good one. That's true. You're sick, sick, sick and twisted. If he had it his way, all those those gowns would have Josh's face on it. Yeah, that little print of Josh's face self-centered probably have his website he probably makes sure that all those gowns that go to those sick kids have his website printed on it sicko <laughs> i like him again he's funny all right you notice how you notice how i'm the host and also my own sidekick do you notice that i want everyone to take note of that and somebody give me a show or josh give josh a show all right let's go to brendan my biggest fan something uh about something about greedo i'm gonna write uh uh greedo Shot first. You got to put that. That's the classic. Boom. Boom. Oh, it's gold. It's beautiful. Is there more George? I think, that, I think George is retired. Wow. Okay. Well, George is going to take a break. We want to thank George Lucas for joining us here on the big autograph signing with Josh Rubber Thomas. It's Thompson. Josh Rubber Ducky. It's Thompson, Josh Nostradamus. Once again, it's Josh Robert Thompson. Oh, hey, everybody, I'm back. It's just me, Josh Robert Thompson. Sorry to disappoint. Hey, a big thank you to George Lucas for stopping by. That was really amazing. George, thank you. Thank you, please. Yeah, George uh, taking time out of his day to join us here in this beautiful studio. What a gorgeous, gorgeous setup we have here today. You know, I was going to go with the all blue lighting behind me, gamer style. Bisexual style. Yeah, yeah. that's what it is, bisexual lighting, uh, kind of purple and blue. Every movie now is lit that way. I don't understand it. Uh, Little Mermaid, purple and blue, all of it. It's all faded colors. It's a really dark and dimly lit. I was going to light it like Dolby Vision so that you would only just maybe barely see my eyes and you just keep playing with the brightness on your monitor. But uh, anyway, thanks, George Lucas, for stopping by. And hey, thanks again to the folks at Streamly. By the way, you can still get you can still get prints still right now? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Sold out. Wow, that's sold out? That's amazing. This one right here. And, uh, this one's sold out. That's impressive. That's very impressive. I wasn't... You know what I like about this collage is it's... Is it's Jeff, 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 Jeff. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? This is unbelievable. Look at this, this face, the muscles and all that. Fantastic. You don't, they say, don't get that. They would put Josh in this makeup and all that. They go, ah, like that. And they put the little, they put the little ink there on his teeth. Say so that he looks like he's got the little uh, tooth there. Exactly. Exactly. So if you go to the store right now, uh, things are selling out like hotcakes. This is crazy. There's nothing left. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we got some of the prints there. Careful Icarus. 
and many and many more. Well, just a few more available now. All right, so this one, uh, now who's this one for? Uh, this one is for Judy D, uh, not Dench. Um, Josh, you pick something to say. I'm sure it will be brilliant. Could be Judy Dench. Judy. Judy. Uh, now, is there any special spelling of Judy that I need to know about? Um, no, J-U-D-Y. Judy D. Yep. Hey, Judy D. Dear Judy, my love for you grows stronger every day. Even though we have been apart lo these many months, I long for your touch in my pants. Okay, there you go. You can use that for your, uh, I guess that's a ringtone or something. That's a, that's a cancellation is what that is. All right, to Judy. Um, let's see. Let's ask the people. What do you What do you think? What What's a good? Uh, you know what? I don't want to do. I don't want to put balls. <laughs> no, I'll do something. You know, let's keep it. Let's keep it classy. You know what I mean? What was it? What was the CBS where the where the where the C CBS where the C stands for classy and the BS speaks for itself. <laughs> that's how we started that's when jeff um when jeff first oh by the way any questions you want to know about jeff peterson the late late show and and in just a few minutes i will be showing an exclusive clip from the jeff peterson documentary oh boy i'm just waiting on pins and needles thanks uh jeff peterson documentary that we shot right as the show was ending um it's not finished the mix isn't quite done. I think there's there's still a ways to go on it, but uh, it is something that I'd love to piece together and maybe put together a feature length uh, documentary. So, um, but I will be showing that in just a few minutes. I'm very excited about it because I think we've only played it one other time on uh, Periscope. Anybody remember that Periscope? <laughs> remember that app, that streaming app? No. No? Really? You don't? <laughs> no. That's great. I love that you said that, man. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. And before that was Meerkat. Anybody remember Meerkat? Remember Meerkat? You do remember Meerkat, but you don't remember Periscope. No. Ah, <laughs> that's great. That uh, and uh, there's some people out there that are going to find that really funny, man. Fantastic. Okay, let me see here. This is to Judy. To Judy D. Uh, let me see. To, uh-oh. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Get this out of here. I saw, I saw Peter Weller doing a signing. Peter Weller, great guy, legendary guy. Love you, Peter. Sorry, Dr. Peter Weller. There you go. Whew. <laughs> you better call me a doctor. My Peter Weller uh, sounds like, um, what's his name? Ted Levine from Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, Ted Levine. Hey, it's Ted Levine. But Peter Weller, as soon as they went live, Peter Weller says, uh, I don't know who was there helping him out, but he goes, well, the first thing you need is a, is a marker that works. That's the first thing. And then, so then this, this hand comes into frame, takes the marker, hands Peter another marker, and he goes, this damn one doesn't work either. I love it. I love it, man. I almost wrote, I almost wrote, I almost wrote to Peter Weller on this. Can you get this to Peter Weller? Sure, I could get it. To Dr. Right to Dr. Peter. Hey, I saw what you said about me, and I, and I don't appreciate that, but I thank you for calling me a doctor. Think it over, creep. No, no, you don't have to do the lines. But Judy says, Josh, you pick something to say. I'm sure it will be brilliant. So. Well, I don't know if it's going to be funny, Judy. I'm just sort of being nice. It's funny, it's just brilliant. Does it have to say Judy D? Um, I, that's in the name, so I'd just do it just in case. Okay. Is she? Oh, is she here now? Uh, she might be. Judy, if you're there. Judy, are you here? Judy, Judy, are you there? Judy, can you hear me? Uh, Judy, if you're there, we need to know. Judy, we cannot, we cannot continue on, Judy. This entire autograph signing has come to a halt because of you, Judy D. That's not true. You wouldn't believe how real that is. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Do people... <laughs> people have done that before. <laughs> no, go, I'll put up the other screen. No, we're, we're not on the air. Go ahead. Tell me everything. No, I'm kidding. We are on the air. Um, uh, Judy, I'll say, well, I'll, I'll leave a space there for the D. <laughs> okay i said it i'll leave some space there for the d i said it I, even pick it up. I said it and you know what listen it's pride month i'm here to support everybody and when i say things like that i say it with love okay and there's a gnat in here uh do you remember oh do you remember um 
you remember Robin Williams did a joke about the fly? Uh, remember the movie The Fly? They did the remake with Jeff Goldblum. Oh, yes, yes, I was the fly. Ooh, ooh, my fingers fell off. Oh, no, I'm doing a fly. I'm with Gina Davis. Oh, look, we're the same size. We're both seven feet tall. Ooh, I can climb a wall. Remember that? We have sex for 20 hours. Oh, I can go all night. Um, and then he's, and then Robin Williams said that there was also a movie called The Fruit Fly. He said, what if there was a movie called The Fruit Fly? And then he did, he went, don't be afraid. Be very afraid. I thought that was really funny. Good stuff. All right, I'm canceled. All right, to Judy, <clears throat> all my love. Oh, that's nice. But wait for it, dot, dot, dot. In your pants. Got it. See that? Nice. Nailed it. Nailed it. I guess I'll put Judy D. Oh, I got to be real careful with this. Got to be real careful with the D. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Watch out for your D, I'm so sorry. I'm going to watch my D. Mind your D. Folks, in case you didn't know what was going on, you're watching the live autograph signing with Josh Robert Thompson, who's also the announcer, and uh, signing all kinds of prints that you folks purchased today. Remember, a portion of the proceeds going to the Starlight Children's Foundation doing incredible work for uh, kids around the world. Um, you know, going to the hospital is very scary. As I mentioned, I had that uh, double hernia surgery. I wish I had this. Not only do they have really cool gowns with different characters on it, you know, the kid can sit there and go, Spider-Man, while they're, you know, giving them an electric shock or something. I don't know. I'm kidding. I love the, I love the kids. I don't know what they do over there. I never even had my tonsils taken out. I don't know. No, please. No, I'm saying, <laughs> you know, it is funny. It is funny when you approach these talking about these children's charities, you have to be very careful how you say it. Yeah. Because there's always some guy in the replay that's going to take a little snippet. I just love kids. I just love kids. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, so here is, um, it says virtual reality. Look at that kid in the hospital bed with goggles on. If somebody from Starlight if somebody from Starlight uh, Children's Foundation can tell me what the VR goggles are all about, that's cool. Help them escape from the scary, stressful realities of battling an illness. That is, that's really nice. That's, that wonder, boy, you, I mean, you play video games? I'd like to play Super Mario. You know, my, my best friend, uh, I mean, Matt Lodi passed away a few years ago uh, from cancer. And we, we did a fundraiser for him that went really well with the Jeff Peterson shirts and everything. Um, man, I miss him. It's really strange to talk about that guy in the past tense still, and it probably always will be. But, you know, one of the things that we did, I bought him a Nintendo Switch because we loved growing up. We I mean, the best game in the world, everybody knows, is Mario 3. There's no Super Mario Brothers 3. Best game ever made. Best Mario game ever made. Everybody knows that. I mean, come on. Turn into a raccoon. It's a tanuki suit. I know what it is. I know what it is. It's actually a tanuki suit. I got it. But we then could play like Mario Kart and Super Mario Brothers. He lived in Cleveland. I was out here. It's a beautiful thing. So maybe that's kind of what this is, you know, in, in some way. Except it's with goggles. It looks really space agey, though. It's the future, man. It's the future. So uh, I do really appreciate that. Thank you for helping out. And it means a lot. It means a lot to the kids. Now, what is this? This is me? Look at this. That's you. Wow. For Alice, uh, you choose a message. For my 10-year-old daughter, remember the oh, careful. <laughs> on Twitter. What happened to the vibrant colors of the Muppets like the VHS gave us? That kid. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. This is from, this is from the, um, I forgot what it was from. From my, my comedy special. I call it a comedy special now because we didn't sell it. <laughs> It's JRT and Friends. It's JRT and Friends. Yeah, this is from my TV pilot, um, which uh, nobody wanted. It was bad timing. I guess I was like, hi, I'm a straight white guy, and I've got a comedy show. And they said, all right. Well, the door, the exit door is right over there, sir. Well, but I was on a late night. We don't know what you're talking about. Um, but this was, I had so much fun making this show. Had the best crew in the world. Everybody that was a part of it did a fantastic job. You can watch the pilot slash comedy special. That was what my previous manager, uh, my old manager, uh, Rory, great guy, he said, I think what we should do is rebrand it. I think what we have here 
is not a pilot. I think we're limiting ourselves. I think it's a comedy special. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to sell this to Amazon Prime. This is true. He said, I called Amazon Prime. This is hilarious. I called them and I said, we're willing to give you this special for free. You can have it for free. Just please put it up on Amazon Prime. They said, no. <laughs> but, it, but folks, it doesn't matter because it's... Um, it's on my uh, YouTube, and it's also on my uh, my YouTube, my YouTube, and my website. There's my YouTube, by the way. Is that up there? Is that working? There you go. There it is. Look at that, huh? Look at that. It's right there on my website. On the YouTube channel, you can watch, uh, you know, highlights from the Late Late Show. There it is, right there, the Josh Robert Thompson Show. What a creative name for a show about yourself. Boy, I, boy, the mind, the mind boggles at uh, how many hours you spent coming up with that title. Well, you're not wrong, Morgan Freeman. All right, let's sign this next one. This was for um, Alice. Alice? Did you choose a message it's for her ten-year-old daughter. Okay, it's for a ten-year-old daughter. All right, I want to. It would be like <laughs> in your pants. <laughs> what the hell is this shit? Excuse me, are you Josh Robert Thompson? No, they'll call us. Don't worry. Oh, good. All right. Well, in that case. Uh, you know what? This is great because this show I made because of my love of, as Alice mentioned, uh, the Muppets, Jim Henson. I grew up watching Jim Henson and uh, he had a great show uh, on NBC. It was called the Jim Henson Hour. Oh, interesting. I wonder I wonder where uh, I wonder where you got the name for your show from. All you do is take your name and just put it in the title of the show. But somehow when Jim Henson does it, it sounds better. I understand. But it was a, a great show, those of you who remember that show. Um, so anyway, when The Late Late Show was about to end, I uh, did what you shouldn't do, and I took a lot of my money, and I spent it on making a show. But I'm very proud of it, and that's what this is. And so I encourage everybody to just, you know, just just create to create. Just, just make something because you want to make it. Don't worry about likes or views. I always say this. Every show that I go on, and I'll keep saying it, um, because it's so important that you just make a thing because you love to do it. And so I would say, especially to younger people, that that's, that's very important. And don't worry about what other people think. Because otherwise, you know, we wouldn't have a lot of this cool stuff. We wouldn't have the Muppets. The Muppets wouldn't exist if a guy like Jim Henson didn't, uh, didn't do that. So now this is for Alice's daughter, though. I think it's to Alice. So I think Alice is the daughter. Oh, that is the daughter. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got you. Okay. I was like, to Alice, this is for your daughter. <laughs> Sorry. To Alice, this is for your daughter. Okay. Here we go. Morgan Freeman going to talk about being part of the electric company. Oh, he might. He might. Don't screw with me right now. I'm trying to concentrate on writing this to Alice. Uh, Let's see. To Alice... I don't know, something, something, you know, it's hard for me to be, I'm always so, I mean, I'm always so, 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 I'm always so sarcastic, you know, but sometimes I can be a heartfelt guy, uh, to how, to out to Hallis, <laughs> oh man, um, uh, I know what to do, always, dream big that's nice that's nice that's nice that's a nice that you know what that's the first nice thing that you said in this entire show to alice dream big what the hell does that mean i'm joking that's a stupid thing to write please i'm doing my best here man i'm, I'm under a lot of pressure always keep dreaming yeah keep on trucking might as well have written, don't give up. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I hope everybody's having a good time out there. Um, this is kind of the, the first of, of many shows, not necessarily live uh, signings. Although, if you do want me to come to your convention, just let me know. You know, you can go to thejrtshow.com. What is it? The JRT Show, T H E jrtshow.com and uh you can get in touch with my people 
oh, come on, it's just you. That's true. Uh, no, just get in touch with uh, my manager, Vinny. How you doing? I'm Vinny. Have you talked to Vinny on the phone? He looks so much like Robert De Niro. How you doing? I'm Vinny. Josh, Josh, don't forget the signing's at 1 o'clock. I get a 50% cut of that. I'm walking away with $5 from this. You know, Streamily's taking the shirt off my back from this. Again, you, you say I'm the one taking money away from these sick kids? No, it's the folks at Streamily, a crooked company. That's why I'm doing this broadcast, to take them down. Folks, go to the Streamily store, by the way. Uh, if you haven't, <laughs> get yourself a print. <laughs> They're still available. Exclusive Jeff Peterson artwork from the lovely, the talented, the very attractive. I can say that because she's my girlfriend. Nalani Williams, also uh, an amazing director and animator. She just did an incredible music video for the uh, Japanese uh, metal, experimental metal band, Boris. If anybody is familiar with Boris, they've been around for, I want to say, 30 years now. And she did uh, their music video, and it is amazing. In fact, she animated it right here in the garage. We got our own animation studio over here. Imagine that, huh? Anyway, streamalystore.com, pick up some stuff. Don't be a jerk, all right? The kids are counting on you. All right, what is this one now? We got the classic. Uh... So this one is for Chris Webb, Chris with a K. Oh, Chris Webb. Yeah. That name sounds familiar. I'm lying. I don't know who that is. No, I do know Chris Webb with a K. Extremely going to come after you. That is uh, factually true. We came to Josh's house with that. Um, <laughs> is that right? <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, are you and CBS are out there? Yeah. Josh, this is CBS. Uh, we we saw that you made five dollars uh, off of a Jeff Peterson T-shirt, and even though fans have uh, taken screenshots from the actual show and been selling shirts with that likeness for years, that's fine. But you're going to prison. All right, this is for um, Chris with a K. Yes, uh, Chris Webb with two Ds. Does he want me to say that as well? Uh, yeah, you should put that in these. No, there's no instructions. So Chris says, uh, yeah, whatever you want. All right. Well, we'll just, do, we'll stick with the, you know, we'll stick with the classics, all right? My mom is watching. Oh, hey, oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize. Uh, mom, Campbell's mom, not my mom. I am, I am so sorry for everything that your son has said on this show today. You know, I have tried so, and it's true. No, you know this because you watch this young man grow up. I have tried so hard to keep this show family friendly, clean. You can vouch for that. That's true. That's true. He's not going to bullshit you. So I apologize on his behalf. Hi, mom. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. He's a good. He's a fine young man. That's what. Um, that is what uh, Don Rickles said to me. I met. I met Don Rickles at the Late Late Show. You know, we showed that clip earlier of me roasting Don Rickles, just giving it back to him. I enjoyed your early work before the talkies, I mean. And uh, so Don Rickles didn't know that Jeff Peterson was voiced and operated by a real person. He assumed that it was just a robot. So he really was very annoyed with Jeff. Well, his people informed him that it was actually a real guy, me. So one of the last shows, Don Rickles asks to talk to me. And he comes over and he's all hunched over by this point. He could barely stand up. And he says, listen, I'm sorry. You're a good young man. I didn't know. You're very funny. I, how do you like that? A dummy operating a dummy. <laughs> and I mean, I was just elated to get roasted by the late Don Rickles. We miss you, buddy. He was he was something else. All right, here we go. Um, so Chris, KRS, I want to say KRS-One. You know that rapper? Anyway, I want to put <laughs> to KRS-One. Just Chris, K-R-I-S, and then I'll put whatever. Yeah. All right. You got it. Josh needs absolute silence. Uh, absolute silence as Josh Thompson... Excuse me, Josh Robert Thompson. Got to say all three names like a serial killer. As Josh Robert Thompson carefully and precisely 
signs his autograph to this picture, making sure, of course, to leave space for Craig. I got it. I got it. Oh, thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Wish my own mom was watching. <laughs> Wish my own mom. She's still alive, I'm just saying. Wish my own mom was watching. <laughs> mom. Uh, to Chris. Um, uh, I'll do In Your Pants. In Your Pants is a fun one. People like that, you know? It, it gives them a good laugh. To Chris in your pants. There you go, my friend. By the way, uh, I would be remiss if I did not mention the creator of Jeff Peterson, the late, great Grant Imahara. You may have uh, watched Grant Imahara on the show Mythbusters. An incredible human being, uh, a roboticist, very funny guy, an inventor. Um, he is the guy who built Jeff Peterson. He is the one who came up with the sort of design along with Craig Ferguson. And he is the one who showed me how to puppeteer Jeff. Now, um, Jeff was radio controlled. So I was hidden behind the wall. And I'll show you that little clip in just a second. Oh yeah, we're gonna show that, that uh, documentary in just a second. It's very short. But you'll see me behind the wall um, puppeteering Jeff with this radio control. And uh, when Jeff's mouth moved like this, hello, Craig, how are you? It was not voice activated. I did have a headset microphone, but rather I had to press a, ladies, you're going to like this. I had to press a button. Sorry, mom. I had to press a button like this every time to make Jeff's mouth move. So that sort of became second nature. Uh, but he, you know, Grant very helpfully showed me how to operate everything, how to make Jeff's head move back and forth, how to make the eyes turn on and off, um, the mouth move, the one arm. Eventually, eventually Grant came and gave Jeff a second working arm, which also fell off, which was very funny. Um, but he, he is very missed. Um, Grant Yamahara gone way too soon. And um, there, is a, there is a foundation, the Grant Yamahara Foundation. It's called the Grant Yamahara Steam Foundation. I don't have the information here, but uh, check it out. Grant Yamahara Steam Foundation. It is for young inventors. And it is an organization that was started by his mom. So that's kind of a lovely thing. We miss you, Grant. And um, honestly cannot thank you enough for creating this character. I mean, this really, who knew that it would take off in this way? It's an amazing thing. So thank you, buddy, wherever you are. We appreciate it and we miss you. Um, so what do we got here? We got, oh, 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 wait a second. What's this? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, the the folks, we, folks, we, uh, <laughs> folks, we have a, a very special guest here on the show. Uh, he is uh, a one-time uh, preacher. He's uh, spent a lot of time in prison, recently released and uh, very sad, of course, about the death of uh, Pat Robertson. He was a very close friend of Pat Robertson. A lot of you folks have been waiting to see him for years and years. Uh, he hasn't been on the air for quite, quite some time, but he is nationally quaffed, and he is ready to party, man. You know who it is. It's your friend, your guy, your liaison to the big man upstairs, it's Reverend Apostle BG, Holy Ghost Power, Holy Ghost Power, Campbell, Campbell's Soup Can, Campbell's Soup Kitchen, Bruce Campbell. You ever do any signings with Bruce Campbell and have him go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you? I bet you have. I bet you have. They need to make extra room for Bruce's chin when they do those signings. Holy Ghost Power, Holy Ghost Power, Donnie Most Power. It's your guy, your friend, your liaison to the big man upstairs philosopher, world explorer. I'm the, I'm the L. Ron Hubbard of artificial intelligence. I'm here to help you help yourself. I, I'm, I'm Tony Robbins minus the gigantism. Did you know that Tony Robbins eats five full pizzas to start his morning? I love Tony. Don't you dare make fun of Tony Robbins. He's a good friend of mine. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I am 
Oh, my hair is beautif beautifully coiffed. My hair, my hair looks really good. Is there a stylist in here? Something has gone terribly wrong here. I, have, I am here to help with this signing, and I see that somebody here has purchased this exquisite print of me from the Josh Robert, Josh Roger Thomas show. This is from, you remember this show? Did you ever see this show? Stymie uh, or William Jackson, whatever your name is? Uh, Campbell. Uh, Campbell, that's uh, it, yeah. Uh, you haven't, you come in here, <laughs> you haven't even seen this program. One of the greatest programs ever conceived in the history of television. And I was the star of this show. You can see me, there I am. This was, this was a church in Pasadena. This was a church in Pasadena. We shot at a church, and they did the, the movie, uh, uh, what's that movie, I, I Love You, Chuck and Buck, or what was that movie with Adam Sandler and the fat guy, Kevin James? Oh, God. I Love You, Alice B. Toklas. What the hell was that movie? The, the point is, the point is, that's a, for all you Peter Sellers fans out there, the point is, this was a church where they shot that stupid movie. Josh Robert Thompson spared no expense and took his life savings to make this stupid show that nobody wanted. But I am here to sign this. This will be worth millions. This will be worth trillions. Pat Robertson, we miss you. We love you and your wild conspiracy theories. And we hope that you are, are burning comfortably in hell. Okay, let's. Uh, now who's this for? Uh, Reverend, this is for uh, Trisha, sentimental sigh. No in special instructions, just going to frame this and hang it in my living room. I bet you are. I bet you are, sweetie. Ooh, that's it. I just took my glasses off, and it's a horrifying look without the glasses. Trisha, oh, Trisha, there we go. Sorry, it sounds like I'm, there we go. That's much better. So Trisha just wants me to write something special to her. Yeah. Something uh, uh, something very, perhaps intimate, something perhaps a little, get her in touch with the Lord. something, oh, I'll get her, and I'll do a little laying on a hand. Hey, Trisha, let's do a little laying on a hands later. Oh, that's good. I'll write that, and then I'll put my phone number <laughs> Get it, get it, Apostle. Okay, man, here we go. Uh, Trisha, is this Trisha Paytas, the, the YouTuber? Uh, I certainly hope not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope not either, man. You ever do signings with her, with uh, Trisha Paytas? No, I, I don't. What an extreme talent she is. Extreme, that, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Uh, the, the the folks that produce this show would like to let you know that we do love Trisha Paytas because we know during the replay, all her rabid fan base is going to watch this because this is right up there, Allie. We just want you to know we love you, we support you, and we'll send a lot of money to your, you know, GoFundMe or whatever to help you, you know, get uh, uh, replacement uh, implants. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Uh, Trisha, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, oh, Trisha. Oh, my dear, my dear, my dearest. Oh, it's like a love letter. My dearest Trisha. <laughs> That's good. You good? Yeah. Oh, you're waving away a bug or something. Yeah, there's a gnat. I thought you were, I thought she was giving me the, no, don't. I thought you was, I thought for a second there you was going, I thought you was going, no, no, don't anything but that. I thought I was getting a note. My dearest Trisha, uh, uh, my my dearest, my dearest Trisha, oh, uh, oh, oh, remember, always remember, this is my favorite one, my dearest, my dearest Trisha, say, th I can't believe I'm going to write this, and you're seeing it live, my dearest Trisha, Satan's got the length. Hold on, man. Hold on. You're going to see. <laughs> but this is something Pat Robertson told me. But God's <laughs> got the girth. Amen. You see, you see, it was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. I think it was worth it. There you go, man. I got to put my glasses on. Oh, we still signing? Oh, yeah, Reverend, you got a few. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Now, who's this one for? This is for Josh Watton. Josh Watton. Josh Watton himself. Josh Watton himself. Josh Watton? Is he British? 
Uh, Hello, I'm Josh Watton. Josh, hey Josh, if you're watching, man, good name, solid name choice. What's W A double T E? I'm not putting his last name. I don't give a shit what he paid. <laughs> I don't care what you paid, Josh. First names only in this dojo. Go ahead. Uh, Does he have any specifics? No, just write whatever. Oh, I, oh, you know I will. You know I will. All right, here we go. This is to my good friend. To good for my good friend. Losing control of this show. I know it. Don't I know it? Okay. Uh, to Josh. Easy to remember. Holy. It looks like a C. Hockey. Holy Ghost. Power. Okay, now this is a Happy Days reference because I would say Holy Ghost Power. Donnie Ghost Power. Oh, some someone listen this i i love god as well there are someone right now says some of your fans like god too i love god more than anybody I, god speaks to me i walk with god i talk with god when i go to the bathroom god is there when i'm bicycling god is there when i'm rowboating i'm very active when i'm spelunking god is with me god is with me at all times god is here now with me aren't you god yes i am i'm right john in fact josh robert thompson did the voice of god on the kelly clarkson show until the writer strike for for three seasons until it all went away for three seasons he was the voice of god that's right he was the voice of god only there's there's proof go go look it up somewhere there's proof that he did this so don't you dare come in here and say i'm not a man of god Satan's got the length, but God's got the girth. Amen. Okay, anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, to Josh, Holy Ghost power. And then I and then I put Donnie, Donnie Most power, because Donnie Most was on uh, Happy Days. No one's going to know what that means, but that's okay. That's <laughs> Dealer's choice. There you go, man. Thank you, Reverend. Uh, right, I'm so sorry. Now you got another one. Oh, I'm so sorry that I've overstayed my welcome. No, no, stay Thank you very on. much. Thank you very Oh, I oh I thought, oh my God, we were that was a shot of a table. I'm so sorry. Folks, I apologize. I apologize. And I want you all to pray with me for just a second as we as we uh come close to the end of the uh, how many more do we have to go? I really Reverend or forever. I mean, what do you got? Forty more to go? I mean, this really is about thirty two more. This is a long this is a long show. Now, are, now, have we done the VIP? Now we now we have different tiers. There are VIP people who they demand that you sign it during the show. And we got Will and Lucas who are the VIPs, but those are the only ones left. So they demand it. Yeah. Now, some of you, we may have to sign off the air, and and I want to I want to be clear that that is not my doing. Okay, we do not want to overstay our welcome. I mean, this show's already an hour and a half long. That that's a long show. But how long do these shows go? Can you go for five hours? Yeah. I feel like it's a lot. I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm losing steam. But I'm going to power through because God is on my side. Because Claude is on my side. Because my friend Claude from high school is on my side. Okay, now who's this one for? This is a beautiful piece. This is Anthony Redamonti. Oh, Anthony. Sure, he's a good guy, man. Uh, love you, Josh. Keep up the great work. Okay. All right, thanks, thanks, Anthony. What about me? Cares about Josh. So, uh, what is does Anthony have anything uh, special he wants me to write? No, that's. Uh, I think you're freeballing it, Reverend. I'm free. Yes, I am. <laughs> How did you know? I'm going commando, man. Uh, uh, I, well, I don't think the audience can see, you know, past your waist, but I can. Okay, yeah, it's, it's hanging low, man. Hanging low, man. That's what happens when you get older, man. You can look forward to it. I'm going to have to get yourself a little, like, banana hammock or something. Uh, this is Anthony. Can I write? Well, I guess I'll put Anthony. I want to put Tony or something like uh Oh, hey, Anthony. Hey, Anthony. <laughs> hey, Anthony. Hey, Anthony. Hey, man. Hey, look, it's me without glasses. Hey, man. Look, it's Josh in 10 years or less. This is what he's going to look like in a couple of years, man. Hey, Anthony. Hey, man. Hey. What if I just wrote, hey, man. Hey, how you doing, man? Are you good? 
How you been? How you been? And hey, man. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power. You can still get a print. Yeah, Heather. Heather asks, uh, uh, and buy my daughter a print. Uh, JRT, will you be doing this again in the future? You bet he will. You, he sure he will. He ain't got nothing else going on. If the writer's strike is still going on, Josh is probably going to be doing cameo after this. <laughs> That's good, man. That's good. Hey, Anthony. Holy Ghost. I'm going to just do a big one. Holy Ghost power. Holy shit. Oh, I should have put holy shit, man. Holy shit. There you go, man. Thank you, Reverend. Oh, we got another one here. Here we go, man. This is speed round now. Who's this, man? Ali. Uh, A-L-L-I. Or Ali, maybe. Ali. Oh, Ali, yeah. I think I know who this is. Uh, let's see. Ali. Uh, dear Ali. Dear Allie, come on by. <laughs> come on by for a little. <laughs> oh boy. Laying on of hands. <laughs> oh, this is sick. This is sick. I'm a sick person. There you go. Dear Allie, come on by for a little laying on of hands. In case you wondered what you're watching, it's the live autograph signing with Josh Robert Thompson playing his many annoying characters. Even though Josh really loves playing Apostle BG, he knows there's people out there who can't stand it. That's why he's really enjoying playing the character for this long. He may just do it for five more hours just to spite you. That's not true, man. That's not true. Don't forget proceeds, a portion of proceeds. Uh, yeah, forget. Don't don't forget to say portion, dummy. They're gonna come after you. Portion of the proceeds go to the Starlight Children's Foundation. Help those kids get through their illnesses or uh, a scary hospital stay. You know, staying in a hospital is very scary, no matter how old you are. Uh, I myself like to wear no gown when I'm at the hospital. I enjoy being sans gown. Have you ever been over there? That's a that's, that's a hotel and casino that I just opened recently, the sans gown. If you guys are in Vegas, come on down to the sans gown hotel and casino where uh, where we ask you to disrobe right at the door. That's right. Disrobe at the door. Disrobe and strobe. Come down to our nightclub, the disrobe and strobe at the sans gown hotel and casino i knew it was a mistake having you do that starlight children's foundation promo is there any more of me uh sorry reverend i don't think there's any more that's it much to the chagrin of the five apostle bg fans out there it's time for apostle to go i'll see you guys next time praise the lord holy ghost power donnie most power there he goes thanks to reverend uh, apostle bg oh hey real quick i've teased it for 90 minutes what a host. Uh, here is a, a brief look at the uh, behind-the-scenes documentary of The Late Late Show. More specifically, this is a behind-the-scenes of how, basically, uh, a day in the life of being Jeff Peterson. Uh, this was shot by my friend. Um, what's happening? Everything all right? Oh, no, just uh, really quick. Just want to address a few of the comments. Uh, guys, the store is still open. It's in Josh's link tree on his Instagram. Or if you want to just go to streamly.com forward slash uh, Josh Robert Thompson, you can still buy a print. Um, and we are still up, so don't worry about it. The store is still open. It's still up if you want to buy a print. Uh, and, you know, I may not I may not sign it during the show. Uh, and I should say, those of you that maybe are watching this replay and, you know, you missed the show, no big deal. You're still going to get your print. Um, Campbell himself is going to personally <laughs> hand deliver it to each one of you. No matter where you are in the world, I'll yeah. be there, guys. So he's got a lot of traveling uh, ahead of him. Um, but this is, uh, this is a little clip of the documentary. My friend Kamel Alloway, who directed the TV pilot slash comedy special, um, he shot all of this footage. So some of the audio um, is not mixed that well or it's sort of a rough cut so i'll just kind of talk you through it but here it is this is uh rare footage of what it looked like 
backstage at the Late Late Show. Take a look. So I'll just turn this down and talk you through it. So um, there I am walking backstage. I'm putting my headset on there. And Bob Oshak, the warm-up guy, we call him a comedian. He's not really a comedian. Great writer, Bob Oshak, introducing me as Jeff Peterson. So you can kind of see uh, me using the remote control there and also doing the voice of Jeff. By the way, there's a guy that had been drinking a lot, by the way. Let's just pause on that face. You see that face? He's got the... And again, to be fair, to be very clear, this was uh, 2014, okay? So yes, it looks like a Proud Boy haircut, but it's 2014, Okay. Look at that face. Look at that moon pie on that guy. Wow. Um, this guy was uh, hitting the sauce, you know. Um, got past that, thankfully. Some of you uh, tuned in years back after the Late Late Show and, and probably saw me uh, in that state. And I thank you for still being around. Uh, yeah, I, I might have the same haircut. No, it was definitely shaved close to the sides there. But the face is, uh, whew. that's, uh, anyway, that's 2014 me. Um, so again, sorry if, uh, if you can't really hear the, uh, the sound that well on the video, hopefully you guys can still hear me. Some people saying they're not having, they're not getting sound anymore. Um, but okay, good. The, the mix, the mix on this was, um, very low. So I'm just sort of talking during it. So hopefully you can hear me talking and, uh, again, uh, apologies for the, uh, audio clip Well, some people are saying they're having trouble. I, I can hear the, the video sound in my ear, and uh, it says it's going through. But, um, you know, the, the mix, the music was a little hot, but I guess some people are saying they're not hearing it at all. So anyway, but that was, uh, that was a little look uh, behind the scenes. You can see me walking back behind the stage and puppeteering Jeff. Uh, let me see if, it, if you see the... We'll just walk you through it there. There you go. So there I am, walking through there. And uh, you can see backstage. And you can see uh, me putting on my headset there, getting ready, getting ready for showtime. This is when um, Bob Oshak introduces Jeff to the audience. This is before Craig comes out. They have a little curtain there that Jeff is hiding behind until they do the big reveal. And now, and now Jeff is being revealed and everybody's going crazy, and I'm saying, oh, yeah, and there I am moving the arm and everything. So that was the spot where I was standing over there by that wall, standing behind that audience wall 
Uh, and I could sort of see Craig, but I also had a, a little monitor back there. And I was standing the whole time. A lot of people uh, thought that I was in a, a comfortable booth or sitting. Uh, no, I was standing during the entire show. In fact, right right here backstage, you can see some of the guys uh, moving past me with equipment. There were constantly crew members running cable and bumping into me. Excuse me, get out of my way. This is some footage of my office here. Um, there's my uh, There was a shot there in my office and all kinds of the cool stuff that people sent to me a lot of the artwork and little statues and figures of Jeff. Somebody made like Jeff Peterson ornaments one year. There's some photos on my wall of going on tour with Craig. And uh, there's some beautiful artwork there. Careful Icarus, uh, another drawing of me and Jeff. And that's the monitor right there that I would look through to see Craig during the show. There's, there's a couple more shots there. Um, so anyway, it looks it looks like it looks like there I'm just uh, promoting my pilot. So that would have been around 2014 with the moon pie face uh, hitting the sauce, but uh, that was when the show was coming to an end. All right, so we got some more to sign here. What do we got? Uh, so these are the last two VIPs. These are the last two VIPs. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sign. I'm going to sign the VIPs because um, you guys wanted to make sure that it was signed during the show. So I want to make sure that we do that during this live stream. And then uh, I'm going to sign the rest today. And then I will make sure that everything gets sent off to you ASAP. So what, and how it takes what a couple of weeks or a year. Yeah. About, uh, yeah about <laughs> like three years. Uh, so you'll get in about three years. You'll get in about three years time. Um, sorry about the, Sorry about the audio. I'm not sure what happened with that clip. I'll look into it. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's a problem on Facebook. It's probably a problem on YouTube. I don't know if that music was uh, copyrighted. Who knows? Anyway, um, somebody said, did you already talk about what happened for the nine years between 2019 and now? 2014? Someone say 2014? I got to get glasses. Oh, um, yeah. You know what? There are some great... Uh, podcast you can listen to. I mean, I've been doing a lot of other stuff. Family Guy I've been doing for, gosh, 13 seasons now. Doing a whole lot of voices on Family Guy. Um, there was a show called Inside Job on Netflix. A lot of audio books. You know, a lot, a lot of animation. Been doing a lot of animation stuff. And um, in fact, during the pandemic, I started recording entirely from home. So now I have a, a booth here at my studio, which is, you know, it's really wonderful. I could just go in there and I record Family Guy. I do everything from here. And I started doing the Kelly Clarkson show, as I mentioned before, uh, for about three seasons. I was doing the, the game show segments that I would host as the voice of God. Kelly, you know, Kelly really liked, uh, she really liked that voice and thought it was really funny. So you, you can find a lot of those clips out there. But as far as interviews go, um, some of my favorite podcast appearances, uh, definitely the Honeydew podcast with Ryan Sickler. If you really want to know sort of uh, how I grew up and, uh, you know, really about my early life, it's a very funny, very emotional interview. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's very real and raw, but there's a lot of, lot of good laughs in there. And I do kind of get into what happened with The Late Late Show. Um, those of you that have followed me all the, all the way this far, you know that it was kind of a... It was kind of tough going after The Late Late Show ended. Um, surprisingly, a lot of people in the industry didn't really know who Jeff Peterson was. You know, it was um, it was a very strange thing because I thought when The Late Late Show ended that, you know, Hollywood was going to come calling. Son, this is Hollywood. I'm the president of Hollywood. We saw you work on The Late Late Show and we want to give you the keys to the city. But it just didn't happen. In fact, um, I made this pilot which I encourage you to check out. Uh, it's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel. You can find the links to all this in the uh, link tree. Um, but I made this pilot and a lot of you helped finish it. We had this amazing crowdfunding campaign. We made like our entire goal within three days, which was amazing. We mixed the audio at Skywalker Sound. I mean, I screened the pilot uh, in the THX theater at Skywalker Sound, which for me was a dream come true because I love George Lucas. I mean, he's one of my favorite filmmakers. Whatever you may think about 
his work, he's definitely an innovator and one of the great pioneers in cinema. So to be there mixing my show in the same place where they were mixing uh, The Force Awakens at the same time was pretty amazing. And to screen the pilot in the theater and have the great sound editor, Ben Burt, the greatest sound editor of all time, come in and watch me on screen playing George Lucas was a dream come true. In fact, I found out later that George Lucas's son, Jet, um, showed his dad some of my deep fake videos. Um, if you guys haven't seen those, by the way, they're on my YouTube channel. The, uh, the George Lucas deep fakes, <clears throat> which I did for uh, Collider. If you go into the playlists on my YouTube channel, there's there there are these folks, um, but if you go if you go to the playlist on my YouTube channel, you will see all of these uh, playlists and all of these videos that you might have missed. Um, we did the one that was called uh, Deep Fake Roundtable, which was I played George Lucas and I also played Jeff Goldblum, and a group of talented guys using deep fake technology none of us had ever met before. So if you look up Deep Fake Roundtable and watch that, uh, it's it's an incredible. It's one of my favorite things that I've ever done. Still, because we we never we never met until that day, and we just all connected immediately, which is so rare for performers. And it, to me, it's one of the it's one of the funniest things that I've ever been a part of. Such an incredible group of guys. But um, yeah, so you know, I took that pilot. I took that pilot. Um, and I, I had a meeting at William Morris. Now, this is the early, this is right after the Late Late Show ended. I had a meeting at William Morris, huge agency. It looks like a spaceship in there. Everything's white and glass, you know, and they have like 55 different elevators and they need like a, a key to use each one for every level and five people to escort you up. And I had this meeting, with this very nice guy, he was a big agent over there, and I showed him, I showed him my pilot. And I showed him the, the website and I showed him all my work and the Jeff Peterson. He's like, yeah, I just, just don't really know what we can do. So, you know, so for a couple of years, yeah, it was really hard for me. And I do talk about that on um, The Honeydew, but I really talk about it on the Letterman podcast, which is an interview I did recently, uh, about a two and a half hour interview and the Mark Summers podcast. It's called Mark Summers Unwrapped. You all know Mark Summers, um, host of Double Dare produced a lot of shows he's a wonderful guy he's one of the nicest people in the business truly and that is an interview you should definitely listen to because he and i talk about classic tv and it just meeting him for the first time was just like meeting an old friend he's a wonderful guy and so i talk about the obstacles and how it's hard to push through that and i'm i'm just want to thank all of you for your support i really do because yeah it wasn't easy you know, for a while there, I was like, I don't want to talk about Jeff Peterson, which I think is normal. You know, you want to move on and do different things. That's a lot of artists. That's normal. You don't want to do the same thing over and over again. And and I didn't want to be a sidekick for the rest of my life, which I think most people understand, you know, and I don't mean that in a disparaging way. It's just it was my time, you know, to do my own thing. You know, it was it was my time to um, have my own show and uh, do my own characters Um and so I just needed to do that. And But what happened over the years is so many people would send me emails or comment or message me and share these wonderful stories about how much The Late Late Show and how much Jeff Peterson um, meant to him, or meant, meant to them. Are, are people having trouble hearing the sound? No, no, uh, you're fine. I, I think Heather is this delayed? The, uh, the documentary still. Oh, 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 so, okay. Sorry, guys. I thought... <laughs> I just noticed that people were saying they were having trouble with the audio. So, um, But it means a lot to me. It really does. I didn't realize how much this show, this character, and, and this, this team of, you know, Craig and Jeff, and also this guy, uh, meant to people. And I think that's why over the years, um, it, it, was, it was very confusing for me because people just didn't know who I was, but they knew who Jeff was. And so I was focusing so much on why don't you people know who I am? I really want you to know who I am. Because like any artist, you want people to know that you're the one that did the work. I didn't want to be famous. I didn't want people really to shower me with 
compliments. I just wanted people to know that I was the guy that did the work. So, so this is really amazing. I mean, it's, it's, it's for a good cause, but also it's, it's always shocking and surprising to me genuinely to see how many people, um, still love this show and how much this character resonates with them. So thank you for your emails. Thank you for your support. And, um, this is amazing. So I just, I just wanted to say that and, uh, and say thank you really also to you guys out there for helping me get through that. Um, anyway, let's get back to the signing. <laughs> You're all good. Uh, this one's Will. <laughs> anyway, Will, bunch of bullshit. Just a bunch of bullshit. All I heard was blah, blah, blah. You know, let me tell you something. Josh Robert Thompson is a is a wonderful human being, and I love him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was mean to you. Thank you, Morgan Freeman. Thank you. I'm still going to sue your ass for using my voice. Okay. Thank you, buddy. All right, this is for Will. Does Will have anything he wants me to say? Uh... Uh, going back to a joke you made at the beginning. I'm hoping to add uh, Craig to this in the future. So oh, please leave his oh my God, I almost... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys are my Carson and Ed. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I don't know. Um, I'll reference it. Hey, uh, Will. Uh, I'm leaving the other side. <laughs> blank. So Craig... Can sign it. <laughs> uh, much love. There you go. How about that, huh? You see? Thank you, sir. It's like, that guy's a dick, man. <laughs> uh, just make sure you guys can hear me okay. Um, sorry about the uh, audio, although we oh, played it again. Sorry, we got it. We got another VIP. Um, Folks, stand by. We've got another VIP. The other one's there, though. Stand by. Please stand by. We have another VIP. Please stand by. Another VIP coming in hot. Okay, now this one, is this one VIP? This one is VIP. So well, then I'll sign it. But if it's not a VIP, I won't sign it. <laughs> Sounds so horrible, Guys, VIP. Guys, you got to pay more money for him to sign it. Guys, I just gave a heartfelt speech. You need to pony up the scratch. Or else I won't sign it. The, the the kids are counting on you. All right. Don't be an a hole. Uh, Luke all right. says nothing special besides you and your talents. Thanks for all the many many laughs, Josh. Uh, this is for Luke. Yes, Lucas. All right, Lucas. Oh, Lucas. Oh, great name. Great name. All right. I'll. Uh... Jeez, it's hard. Okay, there we go, Lucas. Uh... Thanks for your support in my pants. Oh, I mixed it up a little bit. Beautiful. What does he mean by that? <laughs> this is the part where Josh is getting very tired. Very tired. Oh, that's a good way. What voices did I do for Family Guy? Uh, all of them? Pervert no. Hamlet. Yeah, pervert. You may remember pervert Hamlet. <laughs> Uh, I did do a Donald Trump episode. The one, the one time that Donald Trump was on the show was so great. I, Peter and the family went to the White House. It was very good. I hadn't really gotten the voice down, but uh, they seemed to uh, be okay with it. And I, I love, I love everybody over there. It's an amazing relationship. I mean, I started out doing that show. I started during the Late Late Show, so I was kind of doing um, Family Guy here and there, and American Dad, and the Cleveland Show when it was on. Um, and just in the last three, four years, they've been using me a lot, um, doing a lot of the other, uh, care, obviously not the main characters, but, um, you know, I do Morgan Freeman a lot on the show. I got one coming up where I play Tom Selleck. Um, I, I don't know if I can say the other ones, but there's some episodes they're, you know, they're animating now, but yeah, I mean, unfortunately everything's at a standstill because, the writers are on strike as they should be. They deserve to be paid what they're worth. And uh, maybe the actors will go on strike soon. If that's the case, you'll see 
a lot more lives with Josh Robert Thompson. Um, yeah, any chance of getting a regular YouTube show? Well, I will make one. I don't know if you get one. Do they give you one? Here you go, Josh. Good job. You've been given your own show. I may. I may. Yeah, this is kind of the first step in doing that. Um, I really enjoy it. I, I enjoy the setup. It's 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 uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm having a good time. Campbell's having a terrible time. I understand. Yeah, he says. So anyway, um, uh, what else we got? We got another. Uh, uh, we got our last VIP of the day. Last, our last VIP of the day, ladies and gentlemen, right here at the live autograph signing with Josh Robert Thompson. Someone says, "Why don't you have?" I'm gonna butcher this. this was, okay. I think German. Uh, Corwin Belovich. Bella, Bella Vick, maybe. Um, How do you, uh, Cor Corwin? Corwin, so C-O-R-W-Y-N. W-Y-N, all right. And then adding I am Klaus would be epic. Oh, yeah, C-O-R-W-Y-N? W-Y-N. Got it. We got a lot of stream more often going on right now. I am Klaus. Nice. That's nice. There you go. Perfect. There you go, Corwin. And that's it for VIPs. So, uh... That's it for VIPs. Well, I think what I'll do right now is just answer some questions. Um, and we'll wrap it up here. Uh, thanks again, guys, for tuning into the live stream. Um, this, is, uh, this is just blowing my mind. I can't believe how many prints we sold. Um, you can still go to the store. Is that right? You can still go to the Streamly store? Um, so there it is, Streamly Store. There's nothing left, you, but you can just sort of look at it. No, there's some stuff left on there, and we'll probably do this again, I would imagine, at some point. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll do it uh, at like a proper uh, convention, possibly. You guys do stuff at conventions. Oh, yeah. You, so you set your, you set a cam couple cameras up there. And... We partner with a lot of fan expo. Oh, you do? Okay, that's great. Yeah, I don't, I've, I've done, um, I have done Comic-Con, um, like a panel, like I did a couple of those animation voice actor panel. Um, but yeah, I'd love to do that. So, uh, Hey, anybody out there that wants to have me at their convention? Yeah, I got a convention. It's, uh, well, it's, uh, yeah, it's at my house. It's, uh, it's only one person, but, uh, just go down in the basement there. Just the, the people start coming in. Is there anybody going to show up? No, just give it a minute. That's the kind of convention that yeah. I'll be invited to. Uh, any any questions here? We're looking at the... Uh, I have a question. Could you sign my pants? Sure. Send them in. Uh, if you have super chats on the channel, we can send you money. Well, um, I don't really... I, I don't know. I feel weird about that because I don't, I don't feel like I really... I don't need... I don't, I don't want to say I, I don't need it, but I guess I could make money. So what do you do? You they pay like here J Jimmy paid ten bucks, so now I gotta read his question. Is that what? <laughs> isn't that what Super Chat said? Um, maybe we will. Maybe we will. Do you meet Craig Ferg regularly? Uh, I don't. Craig Ferguson lives in uh, Scotland most of the time. Uh, I did see him recently, um, and uh, it was really great to see him. In fact, um, we did work together on something a couple years ago, and. Um, so, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen him, uh, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't hang out. We don't hang out. I'm sorry to, uh, sorry to ruin that uh, for you. Uh, stream more often. I, I may just, um, uh, is Morgan Freeman not getting much voiceover work because of you? Uh, no, he's, I think he's doing just fine. I'm doing just fine, motherfucker. I'm doing just fine. I'm 80 some years old and I've never felt better. All right. Well, there you go. There's your answer. Um, yeah, I almost lost a couple of jobs uh, like a year ago. Everybody was losing their minds, and I got a phone. I won't say where, but some production company called me and said, uh, listen, we love your Morgan Freeman. You know, listen, buddy. It was one of those calls that started with, look, you know we love you. And I was like, oh, boy. <laughs> um, we, just, we just can't, you know, because you're – who you are, we can't have you doing Morgan Freeman. And I'm like, but Morgan Freeman's a real person. It's not like I'm so, but it all worked out. Oh, this is actually really interesting. Yeah. Uh, from Eduardo here. Uh, did you watch the most recent John Wick? Oh, I've heard about this. So in the new John Wick, there is a reference to uh, I Am Klaus. There's a character whose only lines he says it mo 
over and over again, he just says, I am Klaus. Really? Yeah. That's his only line? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It, it, it might be from, uh, I mean, I'd like to think, if in fact it was taken from the Late Late Show, somebody over at uh, John Wick owes me some money. <laughs> as I think... Uh, Talk to Keanu? Yeah. Can you get him on the line? Of course. Uh, you're way too humble compared to the usual YouTubers we watch every day while being way more accomplished. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't really watch a lot of... Although I do love uh, the guys at Red Letter Media... I thought it's probably my favorite YouTube channel. Those guys are brilliant. I'd love to do that show. Uh, I'd love to do that show. I'd love to come on as George Lucas or, uh, you know, just hang out. Because behind me, I have hundreds and hundreds of horror movies and shitty movies on VHS tape. I got feeders. Any of you Polonia Brothers fans, I got uh, feeders on uh, VHS. Anyway, I'm a big fan of the B movies, and uh, I would love to go on that show. But uh, I think I messaged them once, and they were like, yeah, we don't really know who you are. And I said, you know, that's fair. Um, all right, everybody. I want to say thank you again for coming to this, the live autograph signing brought to you by Streamily. And don't forget, a portion of the proceeds will go to the Starlight Children's Foundation. So you've done a really good thing today. Um, and, and thank you for that. And look, I'm sort of figuring out how all this stuff works. So sorry if I was a little distracted. I, I actually like to look right down the barrel when I'm doing a show, that's kind of professional broadcaster style, but I know I see a lot of broadcasters that look this way. Next time I'll just be playing a game and not even uh, acknowledging any of you at all. I think that's the way you're supposed to do it. Of yeah. Um, but yeah, I will be doing more uh, lives. Uh, Reverend Apostle BG will be back with his own show. Um, and hopefully by then I'll have somebody that's kind of running some of this stuff so I don't have to worry about it. But honestly, I think it. I think it went uh, went pretty well. And thanks to Campbell, everybody, for for really helping out, man. I appreciate that. I mean, honestly, I'll jump on uh, yeah. I got announcements. There he is. Hey, everybody. <laughs> this is me. Uh, so just real quick, uh, if you didn't get your sign today, uh, no problem. We're going to be signing. Uh, Josh is going to be probably signing with us again. So uh, he will be. He will be returning. Um, so not to worry. There will be more George Lucas prints. I saw that in the comments. Um, oh great <laughs> thank you Morgan uh, that's uh, that's about it thank you I see a lot of I'm, wow I've never gotten compliments before alright go story. back behind the wall <laughs> alright get a taste of what it's like alright that's enough that's enough man uh, it's interesting being back there behind the wall huh? you like that it's nice kind of anonymous alright everybody uh, thanks again don't forget you can still go to the Streamily store and uh, I will see you all Next time.